it going on guys, NLS Racing to Gamer here, my name is Liam and today we're going to show you something that mm, probably quite a few of you know already, but I thought I'd show it anyway, just to kind of, you know, make it seem, oh, I don't really know, make it seem, but sort of show you guys the best way of doing it and the best way of getting into it. So, this is the glitch that you can do inside the power, which is basically a good old classic zombie barrier. Um, I thought I'd start it off in Bus Depot, you know, the, the recording, because you, know, you guys can see if you're new to it, you know, where you get to. Now, first of all, guys, I just want to say is that I'm not condoning glitches in any way, you know, I said I'm, I've always been legit, you know, I'm certainly not bad at zombies, but I've always been legit at doing it, you know, but there are times and there are moments where you genuinely just cannot be asked moving. And I honestly do not blame you for that, you know, there sometimes I just get fed up and I just want to see these glitches in place. So as I said guys, I don't I wouldn't recommend using this glitch to get to high rounds, you know, I'm just showing you because it's a bit more you know, zombies tech or a bit you know, a bit more zombies news that you may or may not already know. So as I said guys, don't try and do this to get high on their leaderboards. I mean they're hacked to hell anyway, so you're not gonna get anywhere with it, but but the point remains you can get pretty high with it as long as you're in the right spaces and you're not trying to you know you're not trying to cheat your way up the leaderboards but and as you say you may ask well why Liam why are you trying to show us this stuff if you don't want us to get high and don't want us to abuse it as I said because sometimes I I won't as I said I won't condone using it all the time but there are moments where you're running around and you're on a stupidly high round on transit and you know you've known that the people on top of the leaderboards are either hacked or have known this glitch to start with and I'm not saying that every single one of them used this glitch because they certainly didn't, that's certainly not what I'm claiming, but there are times we get to a point, and I don't count it as a glitch, I kind of count it as a bit of an error on, uh, not Sony, it's Treyarch's part really, because, you know, why kind of have these kind of things in the game if it's not going to be, uh, if it isn't, you know, isn't meant to be used or whatever, so they can, they'll probably patch it, so this is after the 1.04 patch, as I said, most people are probably going to have already seen it, and, and that's fine, you know, whatever. I'm not claiming to have found this glitch or whatever. In fact, my friend, uh, XCS, uh, I think it's X dash dash dash, possibly, uh, he actually found it. He was the one that showed it to me. Because, um, again, he is just a, he's a big noob at zombies, and he just needs glitches in his life to help him, basically. So, um, so hopefully he doesn't watch this video, but but yeah, no, so he found this glitch, so again, I don't think he, he certainly isn't claiming to own the glitch or anything like that, you know, this is just me passing it from one friend to another, and uh, yeah, so showing you guys what to do. As I said, the best way this glitch works is that if you're up to a, a certain high round, then, and you're getting really tired of killing all these zombies and you've run out of ammo, or like I said, you know, you've got people like... Uh, you know that you've got to certain rounds on the leaderboard and you're thinking well this is stupid because you know I know that all the people on the leaderboard are hacked to hell so how the hell am I going to get there well Treyarch doesn't count this as a unless of course they're watching this video which is very unlikely but uh, Treyarch don't count this as a glitch or as a, a sort of a cheat I mean now there is a round skipping glitch on transit at the moment just flying around sitting in the back of that room over there and, and doing some mad shit with claymores and stuff but and I said, I'm, and I'd never do anything like that. That's not what I'm here to show you. But basically, you can sit in this zombie barrier when you don't have any ammo. The zombies will die off. It gives you basically, if you can get to power, it just gives you that little bit of respite. As I said, it's completely useless if you're in there when you've got no ammo. Um, or, you know, I suppose it's helpful when you're in there with them. But it's completely useless because you can't kill any of them. But because they're in a glitch, they do die out pretty quickly. And that gives you your enough time just to take, you know, take that break from it and then run like hell. So you can use this as a, you know, said it's low round, it certainly isn't worth the effort, you know, so it's not a hard glitch to get into, but it certainly isn't in a great spot, and it isn't in for, you know, it isn't really an important glitch that you're going to do, but as I said, I've been at my, you know, at times where I've been into a really, really high on, on transit, I've been up to what, like round 30, maybe 32, 33, and um, you've been completely out of ammo, and it seems like such a bitch of a way to die by just running out of ammo it's the worst thing in the world you don't want to run out of ammo at this kind of round you're thinking it's round 33 i know my mates are at this part on the leaderboards i know they use this glitch or you know oh i know all the leaderboards are hacked but you want to just get that little bit further as i said don't sit in it all the time it is stupid you know you just want to you're cheating you out the leaderboards basically you're not going to improve as a zombies player by doing that but at the same time, it is going to help you out just in, in those kind of rounds where everybody else is dead and you're the last one left. You are the hero of the night and you know that you've got no ammo, so you're going to go out. And that's it. This doesn't make you a worse zombie player for knowing this glitch or for using this glitch because it is just simply that tiny bit of respite that you're going to get from not, you know, 
from from not dying just because of ammo. I said you can die legitimately by running straight into him. You know, you can train. I said I train on Dino and I got to round you know 29 on my own just training around a couple of a couple of hours back and. As I said, you know, you can you can train for absolutely ages on this game, so you don't even need to use this glitch. But as I said before, I am just showing you this glitch, guys, so you know there is a place that you can go just temporarily whilst the zombies die out, give you a bit of a run, and you can try and get a max ammo from them, dying, etc. like that. So, what we're going to show you guys is just me going all the way over to the power, and you all know where power is, but, but as I said, you may or may not know how uh, how to get there, you know, if you're, if you're really new to transit, but again... If you are new to transit, it's better to learn the map and learn the things like that instead of, you know, trying to glitch straight off the bat. Because again, you're trying to be better at the game. You're not trying to cheat your way through it all and all that rubbish. So, so don't take this too seriously. So, I know I've rambled for a lot of this video. I just want to kind of fill it with commentary as I'm getting on this bus. But I don't want to cut any of it out. You see, you know, I know I want to show you guys the exact process of getting it, and you know, you can do it on round one. It's not exactly important because on round one, you know, you really shouldn't be dying anyway. But if you are. And, you know, people are, so don't, you know, it's certainly not bad if you are, you could just be new to the game or whatever. But, like I said, it's a glitch just to give you that respite when you are at the right end of it. You've been playing since 6 o'clock at night and it's now 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, tempers are raging. You've, you've spent two hours on round 13 trying to get ammo because you down the knuckles and start working. And uh, I know how that, that feels, so I just wanted to share this with you. Now, like I said, just to be clear on it. I don't claim to own this glitch. CS, uh, who's my mate, for, you know, showed it to me. Doesn't claim to own this glitch, so don't take it in any way that we're taking this from you. So, so don't, you know, comment saying that we stole this from your friend or things like that, because we certainly didn't. But let's just try and get all the way to farm. I want to get this guy off. Cause I want to put the roof in. He's an absolute pain at the moment. So, I said you don't need Galvan of course for this part. So there's no what for this glitch. So, well, I really hope I don't anyway. So don't intend to be to be on it for too long she doesn't want to see a long video hopefully it'll only be about 10 minutes i'm going to show you quickly as to what the glitch is all about so as i said you understand what a barrier glitch is and similar processes as it always is oh see why did i do that that was a stupid mistake wasn't it all right well zombie outwitted me what can i really say that's just uh <laughs> that's just me so here we go guys we're on our way to power now you're going to need 750 points to open the door you don't need to open anywhere else uh, like I said, the only thing you need to open, you can open with the power, and then I open the door just to get the, the uh, some weapons, just so I can show you the kind of effect. Now, what I will say is that Mustang and Sally, and RPGs, things like that, the Raygun doesn't anymore, if you remember from COD 5 and Black Ops, it used to push you back a little bit. They seem to have taken that out, so the Raygun no longer does that, but it used to do that, and so... I wouldn't really use it. I'd use something like the RPD and the hammer. If you can get the sledgehammer, you know, the the hammer upgrade and things like that, then they're great because they don't push you back. But Mustang and Sally, RPG um, and the ray gun, maybe a little bit. Eventually they start to push you backwards and what you really don't want to do is get pushed back because as you see where the spot is in a minute, it's terrible. You get pushed back, you're dead. So, so that's just, and again, it's because you're falling into the thing. It doesn't matter if you've got teams. Now you can get four people in this glitch, but again it's temperamental that means everybody has to sit behind the person that's in the glitch and the zombies can't come behind you which is obviously one good thing about this but so let's just go to show you what we what we mean now guys now you don't actually need to put the power on for this bit um you can just simply find you know you can just simply use your turbine to open the door and then do all the power bits and all that good stuff later on in the in the game but i want to show you it also just so you can be sure that it does work with the power and it does work without the power so so we're going to try and just build this quickly now and hope that I don't get My eaten from behind. Be Should be an absolute buzz kill. I don't even know where the hell the zombie is. Unless he's trying to respawn somewhere else. Please don't hit me from behind. I don't want to have to start all this again. But yeah, so build the power if you have to. As I said, you don't have to, but build it if you you know, you know want to continue and you want to go far. Um, you're going to be building it anyway. As I said, if you're using this glitch as a sort of a, you know, a round glitch or whatever. So you are going to need the ammo. But as I said, best to just try and play legit and then just use this as a place to go when you're all completely out of ammo and you can decide amongst your friends what you're going to do if not you're going to dolphin dive into the lava the I admit it's very very fun so or you're just going to be uh, you're just going to use it for temporary couple of seconds and then run like hell when you when you finish power won't go on for the reason there we are so uh, okay well he died so let's just open up the turbine to speed this process up now what you're going to do guys is you're going to come off here and you can jump off there and come all the way around so I'll show that now but it doesn't really matter now what you're going to want to do is you're going to come and you're going to sit on this little bit now you can't go too far the further you go 
the, uh, the you know the, the better the glitch is, the further they are away. But you're going for a round here. Now you are kind of on it. You are kind of off it. You can go along this line here, but the closer you get, the closer they are to the one might jolt out and try and kill you. Now what you're thinking is they can't jump down from above to kill you. They can only you know he's first time ever he's slow as anything. He's been running like mad the entire round, but. So they can't jump down to kill you. If they do jump down to kill you, then basically you're in the wrong spot, which, and you're going to get a nasty reminder of the fact that you're in the wrong spot. But they're going to jump over, and they're going to go all the way around, which is going to prolong this video. So, and as I said, you know, guys, they're going to go around here. You can have your friends. One sit there, one sit around here, and then have people, you know, in front of you. There's another glitch there, but as I said, the closer you are to the board, or the closer you are to the front, the harder it is going to be because all these zombies are going to you know start running at you and all this stuff so hopefully this guy's in the glitch yet he is so he's just going to run against the board now i don't know whether or not this is because he is i mean he said you can go further along but the reason that i think it is is because this board here doesn't allow you to to fall off it so basically they're just walking across this board trying to hit you then of course eventually if you get too many they are just going to jolt out and try and kill you so the closer you are i'm not in it great here guys but the better you get in it the further they move along the board so the further you get out you better, but as I said, that will happen. You will drop off and die. Oh, I didn't even know that he died. Right, but as I said, guys, it is pretty temperamental. It's a pretty cool glitch. You know, I said, use it as a respite. Don't really use it as a round skipping glitch. Uh, not round skipping glitch, sorry. Yeah, it's using it as a, you know, a sort of a cheating glitch because that's not cool. That's not what anybody wants to wants to see. We're not. We're all going to be legit on this. So, so as I said, guys, this is what you have to do. I'm not even in it right. So you can see it isn't the, the best to, to get into. So now I am in it right. There you go. So sitting on this edge, guys, he can't get you from now on, but use it as a bit of a respite. Hopefully this helped. I know I've rambled for a lot of this. Um, I might redo this to be perfectly honest. It's been a very long commentary, but I'll put it out and see what you guys respond to it and see if it's helpful. If you need any help, just remember to to comment. As I said, we don't claim to find this. CS, who's my mate, doesn't claim to have found this, but it, you know, just wanted to share the knowledge with you guys. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this, please remember to rate and subscribe. Um, hit the like button; it does help, and also comment because we want to hear your feedback. But Bigger than Jack and that sagging Sprawling backwards, I'ma leave it at that Daddy got nothing to do with rap Shut the backs, expose those cats Who poses heroes, take advantage of blacks The government's gangsters will cut the crap I won't